Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. With the advent of Dear Esther, the Stanley Parable, and with the accessibility of different development tools, we've seen all kinds of first-person narrative games emerge with varying degrees of success. The accomplishment of this story-driven genre often lands on how well the writing integrates with the mechanics, and if this is how we measure the merit of a given project, then Firewatch is an unequivocal triumph. While I'll try to keep this spoiler free, talking about the game at any length might reduce from your experience, so I'd encourage you to play the game before continuing. The first thing you'll notice when you begin Firewatch is the art. Watercolours and the cell shading come together to create a unique, startling imagining of the Wyoming wilderness. And more than anything, give the world character, something that's crucial for the tension of the game. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of... well... <laughs> Everything. You'll be left breathless at the vistas you'll encounter, and as you explore the world and pursue your goals, you'll start to realize that the most important part of the game is... unexpected. There's no dragon to slay and no great quest to complete. Instead, I found myself drawn into the conversations between Henry and Delilah. No ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. Laughing and crying with the two throughout the length of the game. The strength of the game as you progress is in how perfectly the mechanics complement the narrative. We're introduced to ropes, and we expect them to be a commodity of sorts. Instead, almost 10 minutes later, we have unlimited rope to use. We're presented with a fishing rod, but instead of a minigame or food mechanic, it's put away and we never see it again. You're also given a camera with a limited number of uses. There's no way to increase this number, and photos taken with it only act as a way to take screenshots of sorts, along with a brief callback to a joke in the end credits. This system subversion is remarkably present, and adds to the sense of movement that makes the story so gripping. While the mechanics are a constant surprise, the story told is equally unexpected. Tension is built through the silence as much as what's said, and systems we think are safe are ripped from under us at a second's notice. The helpless dread that we feel for Henry and Delilah become our own, as the developers offer us more and more reasons to panic. In a beautiful snowball of unease and slow terror, the game takes a sharp left turn and becomes a fantastic detective novel. If you've made it this far, you probably don't really care about spoilers, so take this as a final warning. The ending to Firewatch seems rushed, and that could easily be the case, with the developers trying to close out the game in a timely manner, but I think it serves its purpose well. It shows that there's nothing mystical or grand about this world. The conspiracy you spent the last half hour of the game being drawn into is nothing but a man's desire for solitude, and the encroaching fire is, well, just a fire. The ending is a beautiful reminder that, despite how much we want life to be mysterious and exhilarating, sometimes things are just as they seem. There's no going away with the girl you hit it off with. There's no government conspiracy running experiments on you. And in the end, you can never really outrun your problems. But it's okay, as Firewatch reminds us. It's okay that these things are ordinary. And sometimes, placing yourself in reality and accepting reality is the best way to find beauty. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. I get it. My diagnosis for Firewatch? Firewatch is a seamless mirror. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Potato Clinic. My name is David, I'm the lead writer here at DCM Works, and we had a lot of fun putting this together. Uh, we played the game, which you can see at the annotation over here. Uh, we did a whole Let's Play of that over on my other channel, uh, so you can watch Ben and I play that whole game. Uh, and as always, thanks to everyone who supports us on Patreon, uh, and everyone who listens to our podcast, which you can find at Art for Artists on iTunes or here on YouTube. And I want to know what you guys thought of Firewatch, if you played it, uh, if you didn't play it. Yeah, I really want to hear your thoughts. We love the game personally, and we'd love to hear kind of any of your, your opinions on it. 
And as always, uh, we'll see you guys next time.